Hello, the judo players of the world. Today, we are going to learn what is condensed drone. In other words, I love you. Hello, the judo players of the world. Today, we are going to learn what is condensed drone. In other words, we are going to learn how not to have bad sound like this. <laughs> but rather a nice sound like this. So we are doing that because you were so kind in the last video to notice my eyebrows and gave me feedback on that and that felt very comforting that I'm not making videos and throwing them into the void. But there are real people out there. So if you want to react to my videos, you can always know that you will bring warmth to my heart and other places. So what is condensed drone? Well, you know, maybe the term is a little bit misleading because it has this drone inside but um i made it up uh, many years ago and i needed the term for things i wanted to explain uh, i think actually i first coined the term air code and then condensed drone came but actually you need condensed drone to have a good air code so condensed drone means that you uh condensed drone uh into smaller recognizable bubbles which don't have as much um, harmonic content and they're dynamically quite suppressed so um, you're making something which is mashed potatoes in, uh, into really hard unprocessed potato and another potato and another potato in other words you're reducing the spectrum so you are reducing that harmonic content and you're reducing um, the dynamic range for it to be, be a potato next to potato next to potato next to potato. So when you think of potatoes in the dish world, uh, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Of course, it is the drum sound. It is that single potato, okay? So I really recommend that you check out the video about that potato and how to make a potato with the Juju. And in that video of the drum sound, you will hear from the guy who looks very similar to me, but is a bit younger, um, that the drum sound is created by your lips being uh, put in a such a position that they don't want to buzz. So you're blowing air to them, but they don't want to buzz. So it's a thick embouchure, also known as beaver tail embouchure. Um, and it's a, it comes from a duck face, but it is beaver tail. So, and the corners are stretched back, down. Okay, your tongue goes to the palate and it blocks air which is coming from the lungs. The air stops there, is being compressed, then the tongue drops and that air opens and closes lips once. And the most common mistake is in that embouchure because people just uh, can't make it thick enough and then it vibrates. <laughs> this is the sound you don't want. You won't get a nice slap with that. It has to be a bass slap and for that bass slap to happen you really have to build up a dam which holds uh, the pressure and then the dam is opened for a short moment and a huge power comes out and creates this potato right and it is important because from that movement you get a good eardrum so one of the basic ear code sounds but that is another story. So we stick to that drum sound. And I think that the drum sound is the right place to start practicing condensed drone. Once you have the drum sound without uh, any other vibrations, so you get rid of these guys and you get to that bass slap, you're ready to go on and you need uh, an articulation because you can't condense a continuous drone you can condense only drone which has already been partially cut so that is that means uh, cut by tongue and that means an articulation so uh, we will choose today Tawaka a three-phase tongue articulation for our um, representative 
for the condensed drum because I feel it's maybe the most, it's maybe the easiest one to get to. Yeah, you can do it of course with Tawa, the two-phase tongue articulation, but with that movement, it's a bit harder to get the fluency. So Tawaka is a very fluent movement. It's very natural to perpetuate it. And this is why I've chosen it. So basically you're doing the same thing, you know, uh, first you have to be able to play Tawaka in some shape or form. You breathe on the wah, right in the middle part. And you gradually, and I think gradually is important because if you start with something that you don't know how to do, you can't start properly. So you start something with something you can do. And this is hopefully Tawaka. Um, and you go from that place where everything is mushing, where everything is uh, mashed potatoes, and you group up that pile of drone into a tighter and more compact group until it starts to look back like an actual potato. So it is a process in which you basically have to thicken the embouchure. So you go from into that. And you also need to press your tongue closer to the palate. So you need to reduce that ear cavity inside the mouth. Otherwise you won't be able to pressure it, pressurize it properly. It has to really be pressured up, right? And that's pretty much it. However, bear in mind that this is a sound quality kind of exercise, not a movement. You know, we're not practicing Tawaka here. We are practicing how Tawaka sounds. So it is, uh, it falls into the category of enveloping, which we will learn some other day. We're just changing the sound quality. And that can sometimes be the most tricky thing to do. So stick to it and know that it's not a firm point you know, which you reach, like, oh, now I've reached uh, that point of condensed drone, but it might be a process. And that condensed drone also has um, a variety of um, incarnations. So let's hear what would an evolution of Tawaka on a drone sound like into a condensed drone. So I just try this for the first time. thinking, okay, thicken the armature. And now I'm thinking, pull the tongue closer to the palate. And now I'm thinking, build more pressure behind that, behind that tongue. That is way different from what we started with, right? The beginning was, the end was, but actually all uh, the stops in between are possible. And this is very important to know because I feel if you wanna be expressive the Judo player who has a lot of options, you have to be able to move around your options, right? So I would say this is, your second task. Your first task would be just to play the drum sound. Once the drum sound is a little bit cleaned up, you go for that um, Tawaka sound to clean it up. And then if you play it also a bit faster, it should be always cleaned up. So it's both cleaned in the terms of spectrum and it is focused in the dynamic range. So you don't explode on the ta and you drop the level very much on the ka, but everything is held quite, you know, densely together. So you have more of the slap of the punch of the low mids and you have it always, you know, packed in, in um, pretty much the same box, the same sized box. The size of the box can vary a little bit, but not, not too much. And in this Tawaka, you have three potatoes, right? And all of these three potatoes are comparable. Sure, the Ta will be the biggest, Wow will probably be the next one in size and Ka will probably the smallest. But it's not that um, Ka is so small that you can't notice it compared to Ta, which can sometimes happen when you're playing like a really pushy Tawaka and you don't have the condensed drone. This is exactly what could happen, okay? So we're trying to somehow express 
and um, give a lot of attention to all of these three parts and really push them all out, but in a percussive way, right? So we are condensing the drone into potatoes. Oh, something happened there. I started to play a little. And after a while, you will also want to play a little, but go gradually. And after you've had your fun with Tawakai and you want something more, maybe you could try that um, Zellendop uh, rhythm a little bit. It's very simple, all right? It's uh, this two, three, three, two, three, three where the first two is just drawn. Dum, tawaka, tawaka, tata, tawaka, tawaka. Dum, tawaka, tawaka, tata, tawaka, tawaka. This one will be play. This tata, there are like two short drum sounds and they're so fast in this, in, in at this speed where in comparison to tawaka did, you probably won't be able to breathe on them and you don't need to. You can breathe on doom, you breathe on tawaka. So you have in this, uh, two bars, you have um, five places to breathe in. It goes like this. you go very gradually with this one don't rush into this if your drum sound is uh, all over the place you know if you have a lot of uh, vibration there if you don't have punch if you're you, you don't know how to breathe there stay there you know for stay there for a while and then go just to Tawaka and record yourself you have to know this the difference you know if the difference is doubtful maybe go one step back okay because I love you and because I love longer musical sentences, I will leave you with one more exercise for homework. So it will be a sequence, which is a bit longer, which is based on what I just played, but I won't decipher it for you. I will leave it up to you. And maybe you can connect all of you out there who are roaming around internet noticing people's eyebrows and try to figure it out yourself. Maybe you can record it and um, share the video with me and I will include it in the description. Nobody reads the description anyway, but I will include it there. And I hope you can find each other out, you know, maybe leave it for a week or so that you allow other people to decipher the pattern. Um, but I'm quite sure that like, Freddy Veggie might uh, do it rather quickly, so he will probably share it on his channel and maybe someone else will, so be benevolent with other people who are doing that. So this is your homework. So I've played this pattern now two times. It should be enough for you to figure it out. I wish you good luck. Of course, if you want to learn more about things like this, I invite you to the masterclass where we spend a lot of time uh, practicing patterns like this and practicing uh, condensed drone and all other kinds of judo magicalities. If you're interested in the instrument I'm playing, it's a CD judo called Moitze, which I like really a lot for this kind of playing. And I've played many of my songs, which include a lot of condensed drum playing on exactly this kind of uh, didgeridoo. That's it for today. See you next time. Spiral out, keep digging.